Good morning, my name is Martin and this is a tribe of the fox. Now the last years we have seen a revival of ancient heathen or pagan deities, so pre-Christian deities like uh, Nehelenia, the goddess of the North Sea, Baduhenna, the Frisian war goddess, the Matronen, that's the triple goddess of Northwestern Europe. And uh, yeah, that's, that's very interesting. People are investigating this again and the books are being written about them. And songs are written about them. That is a very, very good thing. And the tribe of the fox has made several videos about these, uh, let's call them forgotten deities. Uh, they're not really forgotten anymore. And I hope the tribe of the fox that is dear to me I hope that we can contribute a little bit to this uh, revival. So today I want to talk about another goddess that is not so well known and her name is Ludana. So what do we know about Ludana? Well, first of all, five, only five altars have been found. Two in what we now call the Netherlands and three in what we now call Germany. So the part of Germany is called North Rhine-Westfalen. That's basically right next to the Netherlands. Yeah, and what do these finds reveal? Well, for instance, uh, one of them has been found in Frisia or Friesland. That's where the Frisian people live in the north of the Netherlands. And there was an altar that was dedicated to Ludana and was given by a group of fishermen. So, was he a fisherman deity? Well, probably not, because the other four altar stones were found farther away from the sea. Okay, so let's look at her name. Maybe that gives a bit more information. Lut, Ludana, Germanic word Lut, is like fame or famous. Yeah, but famous uh, for what? We don't know. Is it warfare, perhaps? Well, the Frisians, for instance, have their own war goddess, Badu Henna. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it is also said in etymology that her name means like noise or loud or um, to roar. Thunder goddess, perhaps? Female counterpart of Donar? Perhaps. We come back to that later. Or it is said that um, her name is connected with Lodin, and she is connected with Jord, and that is supposed to be the mother of Thor, or Donar, as we call him here in the Netherlands. Okay, let's investigate that as well. And then we have. Uh, Ludana, her name starts with an L. You see Ludana, Holle, Hel, Hella, nee, Hellenia. So that might be a more earthly goddess. Would that be the case? So those are a lot of questions. There's also a Belgium scientist who says, yeah, there's this place called Lanaken, and that comes from Lutena kom or Ludana kom. So that place might have been a cult place, a temple place for Ludana. And that's, by the way, a place in uh, Belgium, what we now call Belgium. And he also says, yeah, there were references that in that town there was cattle being slaughtered in the 9th century. So that might have been for Ludana. So yeah, you hear a lot of questions, don't you? These are all questions. So you have scientific facts like excavations and etymology, but this information doesn't give a whole lot of certainties. So then you get speculation. So what should you do in that case? Well, how about shamanic journeying? Or you can call it spiritual journeying, trans journeying, connecting with the gods, whatever. You know what I mean. 
If you do that, then it's called unverified personal gnosis. Now, of course, that's not science, that's your own experience. If you do this with a number of people, then it's called peer corroborated gnosis, because then you're going to compare your experiences. That's still not science, I agree. I agree. But it does shed more light on the case. And that's exactly what I done. I invited a young man, and he is a heathen from the Netherlands, and I can reveal his first name because he made a podcast about his experience that he had with me and the deities. His name is Stein from the Greyhorn Pagans. So everything I say is, uh, he already said it in his own podcast. So I'm not revealing anything that he doesn't want to have revealed. Okay. So here we go. I invited Stein to come to my hometown. And um, what I did is the technique that I used was a modern technique coming from therapy, actually from system therapy. System therapy or system work is not about what's in here. It's about intuition. It's about intuition. For instance, the most well-known form of system work is the uh, family constellation. As a human being, you're part of a family and they all have effect on each other. And with system therapy, you can get insight in what's really going on in your family situation if there are problems over the generations and you can make a healing move. You can also use this, this uh, system work to connect with the deities because that's also a system. Yeah? You're in the system with those deities and every deity and you are interacting somehow. So uh, when Stein was here in my hometown, uh, we did uh, his um, ancestral mothers. Those were important, of course, because ancestral mothers are extremely important in our Northwestern European spirituality. His deities, patron deities, Wodan and Donar, so they are in Scandinavia known as Odin and Thor. And we did Nehalenia because she's very important to our country. And we also did Ludana. That's what we're talking about now, Ludana. And we could already find out really quickly that um, Ludana has a very, very strong connection with Donar or Thor if you prefer that yeah but she is not his mother so that's a speculation that we can just cancel we can just get rid of that speculation they're more like yin and yang donar and ludana they are male and female counterparts they they have the same function but with a slightly different energy male or female so they really belong to each other in that way. And um, Ludana is certainly concerned, we found out, with what's going on here in our realm. That's why we could fairly easily connect with her, both of us. Yeah. So the war aspect that some people speculate about um, is, is Ludana, does it mean fame? Does it mean fame in the war? We have not really noticed a whole lot about that. Although she, 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 she was a pretty strong personality, so war could be possible, but the whole emphasis was on balance. Balance. Ludana together with Donar, balance. And they were right behind this hidden man of the grey horned pagans, Stein. They were right behind him. And Ludana was very interested in him. Interestingly enough, she was pushing me away. Yeah. 
Cash, Ludana, and me are not <laughs> very well connected. That's possible as well. Yeah, so um, that's what we have been uh, finding out. It's very interesting. And it was not really coincidence as well, because uh, Dirkje from the tribe of the fox was already, she already made a post on Telegram about Ludana um, and the connection that she might have with uh, Donar. And Stein was very interested in that. And I was, to be frankly, to be honest, also quite interested in what that meant. So that's why we also try to find this out using system work. And it's a great, great, great way to connect with deities, actually. It's a modern way, but it works. And we also found out that Ludana was very much connected with the ancestral mothers of Stein in this case. So again, everything I'm telling now, Stein has already been telling this on his own podcast, so I'm not revealing anything that he does not want to reveal. Yeah, and I've done this with, with uh, other deities and other persons as well. And the most interesting thing is if you use persons for this experiment who are not heathen or pagan, who does not have, who do not have any knowledge in advance. It's quite remarkable how much these people can tell you about our deities by using system work as a method. These people are then telling you things that they could not have known. Also about the places where these deities live. I once done this experiment with a person who actually journeyed <laughs> to the places where these particular deities lived. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what is possible. Anyway, so I talked a bit about what we know about Ludana, about the speculations that exist about Ludana, and about the system work that Stein and me have done together to have an actual first-hand connection with Ludana in this case, and other deities as well. So yeah, if you want to read more, this is a very interesting book. It's in German, it means illustrated lexicon of the Germanic deities. There are nearly 300 deities in this book. And it talks about etymology and archaeological finds. And uh, it's really, really interesting. Yeah. And uh, another book is this. It also talks a bit about Lutana, Frau Holle and the hidden wisdom in fairy tales. And it's about much more than just Frau Holle and fairy tales. Over 500 pages, written by Dr. Anine van der Meer, scientist, very good book. And there's also a very nice website called godenvaneigenbodem.com. So that's a Dutch speaking website with lots of um, also footnotes and references, sources, references to sources about deities. Very interesting. So, well, that was it for today. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.